Dear friends, today the International Day for People of African Descent is a day of celebration of the diverse heritage and contributions, political, economic, social, cultural, of people of African descent to the development of our societies. It is also a day of recognition of the enslavement and trade of millions of Africans as one of the darkest chapters in our human history, of the legacies of enslavement, colonialism, and deep-rooted systemic racism that are still manifest today. Police brutality continues to be one of the most gruesome and visible expressions of racial discrimination. But racism takes countless insidious forms. Social biases, xenophobia, and discrimination permeate our institutions, companies, schools, and universities, technologies, and political discourses. People of African descent the world over continue to be disproportionately excluded from adequate housing, employment opportunities, safe and affordable health care, virtually all spheres of life. While efforts are growing to identify and tackle racism, much more needs to be done. With the Durban Declaration and Program of Action adopted 20 years ago, came the first international acknowledgement of this population group and the challenges they face. Yet, lack of recognition of the death of racism continues to be a serious obstacle to progress. It is more than time for transformative change, for greater recognition, for greater transparency in and accountability for how decisions that affect people's lives are made, for meaningful involvement of people of African descent in those decisions, and for confronting past legacies and ensuring redress and reparations. At the United Nations, we have made it a priority to support states in pushing for change. Last year, and thanks to the efforts of Organization of African Descent People, the Permanent Forum on People of African Descent was established as a space for people of African descent to give their views to the United Nations system on how the human rights of people of African descent can be better promoted and protected. And this fall, states will begin drafting a much-awaited declaration on the promotion, protection, and full respect of the human rights of people of African descent. And my office's four-point agenda towards transformative change for racial justice and equality, which we issued last year, sets out 20 actionable recommendations that provide a roadmap for making real progress. These action points address systemic racism and international human rights law violations by law enforcement agencies against Africans and people of African descent. I encourage you all to get together and get involved. Today and every day, learn, speak up, and act to fight racism.